Good morning. Welcome this morning. Is there anything that makes it harder for rich people to be in the kingdom? Today we're looking at Mark chapter 10, uh, verse 23 to 31. Let's read into it straight off here. Then Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were astonished at his words, but Jesus answered again and said to them, Children, how hard it is for those who trust in riches, underline that, those who trust in riches, to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. And they were greatly astonished, saying among themselves, Well, then who can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said, With men it is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. Then Peter began to say to him, See, we have left all and followed you. So Jesus answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the gospels who shall not receive a hundredfold now in this time, houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and in the age to come eternal life. But many who are first will be last and the last first. What's going on here? Is it harder for rich people to enter the kingdom? Well, apparently it is harder, uh, but not because they're rich necessarily. It's because of that verse 20, uh, 24. Uh, how hard it is, said Jesus, for those who trust in riches, because here is the risk, that if you have a lot of stuff, that you will begin to trust in that stuff. That's the risk. It's not that being rich will keep you out of the kingdom, but trusting in your stuff will keep you in a troubled way. What stuff are you and I trusting in that isn't of the kingdom? There might be some issues that in your life or mine that we're trusting too much. Trusting too much in what uh, we can buy at the store. Trusting too much in what the government's going to do for us. Trusting too much in whatever it is. Now, did you notice uh, when Jesus specifies at the last part of this passage here uh, the riches what the true riches were. In contrast to the material wealth, the true riches here are, are relational riches. Notice again, whoever has left house or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands, that's relational pretty much. I mean, lands not so much, but, but much of that is relational. And, but he says that now in this life we can receive a hundredfold even. And again, how brothers and sisters and, and, and so on much of it relational, and maybe some land too. But the real issue here is the relational riches. By the way, when you become a Christian and you make connections in the church and you begin to get some friends and, and people that you didn't know before and you're connecting with them, uh, men, women, older people, younger people, you gain a whole, a whole family. You know what? You gain some enormous relational riches. You're increasing, you're joining God's family. And as you join God's family, you have a whole new set of brothers and sisters. It's, it's really wonderful. So uh, some people kind of think like, you know, I can be part of God's kingdom, but I don't need to be part of a church. Well, you want to join the family, don't you? You don't want to just be a guest, a uh, forever guest. You want to be part of a group, part of the family. So you really should have a, a, a formal membership in a church somewhere that is following the commandments of God and teaching the faith of Jesus. I hope that you're, you're engaged in, in that uh, practice of being an actual member of a church, having these new relational riches. Why not? Why not? Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for the true riches. Help us, Lord, to rightly value things. Stuff is useful. It's useful because it can actually be used to advance the gospel. But what we really want to do is we want to be in, on your team, in your kingdom, and we want to have those riches, those new relational riches, many of them, and new brothers and sisters and people all seeking for your kingdom, people that we can rub against and uh, be helped toward the kingdom. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great one in the Lord.